Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and I've been wanting to add a CF drive to this PowerBook and of course you know this is the 1400 series PowerBook this is a 166 CS and I got a CF drive earlier but it's not the right one it will not work in this machine it works fine externally uh, on my uh, iMac uh, G3 because that's how I formatted this so I got actually the right one to put in there okay so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna put this in there and uh, we'll be back in 10 seconds And as you know, I've been working on this. Uh, you know that we've been trying to rebuild the battery for this. And uh, so far, um, that's still a work in process. But like I said earlier, um, I got this uh, CF drive, and it's not the right type of drive for it. It's just too big. I even got a new 2 inch IDE cable for this and tried to use it and it still wouldn't work. So I got this other CF card reader and this is an adapter and this is the one that uh, Action Retro used. I went off his site and uh, I saw this is the one that he used in his uh, PowerBook a 166. And so I got this so we're gonna put this in the machine. Now what I've done is I did put 9.2.2 on this card and I did that on my iMac G3. I used super duper and I have 9.2.2 as a partition on that and I made a bootable uh, copy on this. Now according to Apple Profiler this really only supports up to 9.1 but we're going to try to get 9.2.2 on this and I think that would be pretty neat if we can do that. Like I said, it may or may not work. We will find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and we're going to put this CF drive in it and uh, see if it powers up. And it's really easy to get the uh, hard drive out of these things. You just slide this speaker cover over, it slides right off, and then this keyboard lifts right up now, I didn't push it down very tight because I have the hard drive back in it. So here's the keyboard right here. I'm just going to lay it right there. And the hard drive is just laying in there. It's not actually screwed down. I just laid it in there. Okay, so we're going to get this hard drive out. And like I said, it's not secured in there. And there's a cable here. We're just going to kind of pull it here. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put that in there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put this CF card on it here, and it should just slide right in there, and it does. And uh, let's see, there's jumpers on here. One says master, one says slave. So we're going to leave it on the uh, master here. And now we're going to plug this back into the cable here. There we go. We got it in there. Now I'm not going to anchor it down just yet, but uh, what I will probably do is I'll probably um, use some... Uh, it, it's on plastic here, so it's not going to short out on anything. I'll probably use some uh, Velcro just to, to anchor it down. Like I said, there's not a lot of room in here. But I just want to see if this thing boots up. Okay, so let's... Um, so back in there. Let me uh, get the power cable here. And let's see if it boots up. Well, it's not doing anything yet. Okay, I get a flashing folder. So let me let me try the jumper setting. Ok, 
Okay, we get the flashing floater again. So it's not it's not working either. So we might have to do an install on the machine here. All right, let me eject this disk here. And throw it in again. to spin up. This doesn't want to, it's trying to read it but it's not reading it. Now it's spinning down again. But it was it was trying to read it though. It got a lot farther. Let's try it one more time here. This will make it so much nicer if we can use the drive in this to uh, format this uh, disk here. Okay, this is not working. So let's see what we can do. Um, what I will do is I will use my cube to format this drive. So that's what we're going to do. So, okay, so what we're doing is we're actually using the uh, optical drive from the cube, and because uh, that's got system uh, 9 on it, and we're copying on our CF drive here, and I got the CF card in there, and we're putting 9.1 on it. And so we are almost done copying it to that. And then what we'll do is we will put that into the power book here and see if it'll boot up. It should. We will find out. I guess the super duper thing didn't work. Uh, usually that works most of the time, but uh, we'll do it right from uh, the actual install disk. And it'll be installed on that. And we'll put it in the power book and we'll see how it works. Okay, so let's see if this boots up into the OS 9. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, still flashing folder. So let me put the uh, jumper back on there and let's see if that makes a difference. I don't know why it doesn't like this CF drive. I can put this in my cube on the CF card reader and it boots right up, no problem. I put it in here, I still just get a flashing folder. Now I put the hard drive back in it and as you can see, it's booting up. So I'm not sure what's going on. There, obviously there must be something wrong with this. I don't understand why it's not working. Uh, I'm going to do one more thing just to see if there is an issue with this card reader. I'm going to plug this in and then plug it into a USB and see if it'll recognize this card reader. And uh, that will tell me if it doesn't read, understand this card reader then I know there's a problem with this because there's nothing wrong with the uh, compact flash. Um, we installed that and it should work. I am amazed that it doesn't work. So I'm going to try something else. So I took and I plugged this CF reader into my iMac here with a USB on the end of it, a connector, and as you can see it's right there and there's the 9.1 system right there um, so because like I said the hard drive plug it in works fine you plug that in the power light comes on but it does not see that card this will boot up on the cube no problem that CF card so I know there's nothing wrong with that IDE connector on it I'm going to have to uh, pursue it a little bit more 
and I'll try something else and uh, see if it works. Because like I said, if I put the hard drive in it, it powers right up. So I know it's not a problem with the cable in it. The cable's fine too, so it's got to be the software on the CF disk. Now, unfortunately, I've got no way of really cloning that disk from this machine onto that CF card. Um, I've been trying to think of a way to do it, but I still haven't thought of a way to do it yet. Okay guys, so we finally got this thing working. After many hours of trying to install from my Cube, from my iMac, to get that program on the CF card. So what I wound up doing is I pulled the optical drive because the optical drive wasn't working on this. So I have a bunch of optical drives and basically I got a super drive in it. So we should be able to install this on the CF card after many, many hours. And I'll tell you, I, I was pulling my hair out. I was thinking that this machine had a curse on it as well. So anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to install the software. System 9.1 on it. And I'm just going to see if we can put it on here. Now I think we might not have enough memory on it, but we'll find out. If not, then we'll put System 8 on it. You can see here that drive's kind of noisy, but hey, it's working. That's the, the bottom line there. And it's a much newer drive. It's a 2007, where the original drive in this, 1997. Okay, now it's not seeing the drive here. So what we're going to do is go to uh, Drive Utility here. And it is not seeing that drive. And it's not seeing it. Well, we finally got Mac OS 9.1 on this thing, and we were actually booting off the CF card. And I tell you, it has been a real nightmare to get this thing to work. But basically, what I wound up doing is I had to do a fresh install of OS 9 on my cube. Uh, for some reason it was corrupted so once I got that all ironed out that's all upgraded to 9.2.2 and then what I did is I used that CF adapter plugged it in via USB and I did a fresh install of 9.1 and we were able to uh, put it in here now the first time it didn't want to boot up and I had it on slave I put the jumper back on master and it still wasn't finding it so what I did is I have the uh, I put the floppy module back in here and I use my hard tool kit and so what I did is uh, I first put the crisis disk in there and it said you gotta be running a software and then when I stuck this one in it started to load up and all of a sudden it found the drive and so now we're booted up into 9.1 
And now I'll be able to play with this and put some updated software on there. And I have some uh, good plans for this here. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to get a cable because we have the optional uh, monitor card in this. And what I want to do is I want to be able to get that cable and we're going to run the uh, monitor up here that I have the cube on. And I think that'd be pretty neat to see uh, w if this thing will actually drive the monitor. It's supposed to be able to do that and we'll find out. And as you can see on this one here, we're running 32 megabytes of memory. We're going to turn the virtual memory off. I think that'll make it run a little faster. And uh, but you know we have uh, we have the CF card in there, and uh, I'm really happy we finally got it because this was stuck on system eight. I wanted to do it on 9.1. I might be daring and try to put 9.2 on it. According to Mac Tracker, you can only put 9.1, but you know sometimes you can upgrade the system even a little bit further than that. But right now. I am very happy I finally got this thing running off the CF card. Now of course the first boot took a lot longer so the second boot should go a lot faster. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go to special here and we're going to uh, hit restart here and let's see what happens. Let's cross our fingers and hopefully it'll, it'll boot right up into that system there. I'm curious to see how much faster it'll boot up because the hard drive was painfully slow on it. Now you can see right now, it found it found the, the CF drive right there. Awesome. And look at there, 9.1's booting up much faster than the uh, hard drive. And we'll have to find some uh, nice wallpaper to put on this thing too. And you can see it's starting up now. And it's taken a little time, but again, it's faster than the hard drive. And like I said, this thing is still kind of figuring out things. Like I said, I think if we turn the virtual memory off, I think that'll that'll make it load up a little faster here. And you can see the uh, system. All the extensions are starting to load up there. Still loading up. And I got all the options on it too, so we'll We'll have to go through and kind of uh, clean it up a little bit in terms of turning certain things off. And that'll make it boot up a little faster too there. We'll zoom out on it here. And sorry for the... Uh, let's see if we can make that look a little better there. The light there. And see it's booting up there. And we're booted up. So yeah, this is working fantastic. And also, there's going to be another video coming out on the batteries. Uh, somebody suggested I go to this one website on YouTube. That's what they do, is they do battery repair. And apparently, there is a way to turn on that chip. Because uh, when I did the last video on that battery, I showed you the, the components on it. And that one thing that I thought was just strictly transistor has actually got some ROM in it. And that is actually... A switch for some reason the battery is maybe discharged too fast or it got overheated uh, that thing will switch now these are resettable and there's a way to do it so I'm gonna try it and we'll see hopefully it works and hopefully that will take care of the problem so that video will be coming out pretty soon so all right guys so thank you very much for being patient watching this video I really worked hard trying to get this CF card to work I'm so happy I got it to work finally Give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe button and click the bell, I really appreciate it. So I will see you guys in the next video.